Hello guys, now coming back to the etiology, you might have heard about the introduction in my previous slide. If no, you can go back to the previous slide uh, presentation and see regarding the uh, what what is bullous lung disease. Now, so coming to the etiology, what do you think the etiology is for the bullous lung disease? The most common etiology for bullous emphysema, as you know, is uh, or you don't know is one is smoking. And what do you what do you think the other one is? It is alpha one antitrypsin deficiency. Okay, so two causes smoking and alpha one antitrypsin deficiency. It is for the bullous emphysema conditions. Then other uh, causes that are ascertained is the hereditary predisposition. Okay, it can be seen in some, several conditions like Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, Marfan syndrome, or what can be the other causes in young teenagers? It is marijuana. Marijuana sm uh, smoking it can also cause uh, what do you say, bullet uh, in the upper lobes. And uh, in long standing ankylosis spondylitis, it can also predispose to fibrobullous lung disease. It is also possible that uh, the bullous lung disease. Okay, if, uh, it's a giant bullous lung. It is associated with underlying conditions like ILD, pulmonary sarcoidosis, fibrosis, and progressive massive fibrosis. It's seen also in IV drug abuses. It's also seen in post TB fibrosis. And lastly, it's also seen in certain causes in which the cause is not found. Okay, we term it as idiopathic bullous disease. So what do you think the pathogenesis is? See, there are several hypotheses, but it is very poorly understood. Okay, out of which some hypothesis that the alveolar wall becomes weak and uh, particularly the apices of the lung and uh, causes uh, formation of bullet or the inflammatory tension of the bronchial leads to progressive air trapping and tension air release. Collateral ventilation which is disordered or the underlying paraseptal emphysema out of which okay this is the most uh, approved one uh, sorry this yeah paraseptal emphysema is the approved uh, most popular of the hypothesis what do you mean by paraseptal emphysema see in cases where there is alveoli okay there is multiple alveoli in a lung okay uh, this is a lung and see uh, you can see alveoli you can see alveoli okay what happens is over the time there is elastolysis and uh, proteolysis of the uh, intraalveolar septum as a result uh, it causes uh, what is see it becomes an, a large emphysema paraseptal emphysema and so it uh, leads to the tendency of formation of bullae. Bullae it can then form uh, if it is in the lungs uh, mm, yeah formation of bullae can occur over the apices. So what are the most uh, several hypotheses for bullous lung disease one is a paperback hypothesis and other one is a ball valve mechanism so out of which ball valve mechanism is seen in see suppose there is a chronic this is an alveoli okay alveoli okay in uh, progressive inflammation of the alveoli it called what what happens is there is a chronic air trapping okay uh, chronic air trapping the airway air spaces becomes narrower okay narrower and there is progressive air, air trapping progressive air trapping and finally it leads to a large bullet however this theory is uh, refuted because uh, by say a CT scan and intrapolar uh, pressure measurements so what happens is the next theory is a paper wall back, uh, mechanism in which the tendency of the lungs is uh, uh, tendency of the bullet if there is a tendency of formation of bullet over here okay that what happens is air as it goes inside um, or will I show you yeah it is air goes inside it preferentially tends to go into the area where the layer above the bullet it is more compliant as a, than the surrounding lungs 
So as a result, the bulle becomes larger, larger, larger than the surrounding lungs because more less pressure is only required to uh, enlarge this part. So this is one of the other theory which is a little more accepted than the previous one.